Welcome along to this week's Life in the Rock Pool. Today we're taking a look at Mytilus edulis, also known as the blue mussel. As the name suggests, the mussel tends to be blue, but it can also be found in shades of purple and even brown. They usually grow between 5 and 10 centimetres long, but if conditions are perfect, they can push this up to 20 centimetres. They also don't like deep water, only being found at maximum depths of 5 metres. You tend to find them in really big clumps, and when they're juveniles, they attach themselves to a rock and never really move. Being unable to move, they've developed some amazing adaptations to protect themselves in the rock pools. As adults, they only really have two main predators, which are seagulls and starfish. When either of these begin to predate on the blue mussel, they can thicken their shell between 5 and 10%. This buys the animal a lot more time, and it can take up to 50% longer for predators to break into that shell. On screen now you can see some of the variation in colour, size and thickness of the shell. Now being able to thicken this up to 10% more is an incredible defence mechanism. The blue mussel doesn't just look after itself though, it provides some amazing ecosystem services. Mussels are filter feeders, and each individual mussel filters about 25 litres of water a day. This makes the water cleaner as they filter out things like bacteria, toxins and particles of metal, overall creating a cleaner, less polluted environment for everything in the water. If one mussel can filter 25 litres, imagine what a whole rock pool's worth can do. You can see how many are there on screen now, there's absolutely thousands. Unfortunately, blue mussels are on the decline. We've lost an estimated 40% of the population in the past half a century due to things like ocean acidification, global warming and human consumption. It is absolutely vital for the future of our rock pools that we try to protect these shellfish. As I mentioned before, they provide food for some of our native rock pool species as well as filtering all that water, but the clumps of shellfish also provide safe nursing grounds for juvenile fish and other species. If the blue mussel continues to decline, this could have knock-on effects for the entire intertidal ecosystem. I think we can all agree that this is one of the most important and amazing species we've covered here on Life in the Rock Pool so far. Remember, you can catch me here every second Wednesday at 6pm for another episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.